Hey guys, Calvin here. Thank you so much for joining us in our 30 days of mindful movement challenge. This week's theme is air. So for me, this class is gonna be a lot of balancing postures. We're gonna work towards Ardha Chandrasana, Warrior Three, Twisting Ardha, and some stuff along those lines. If you're newer to the practice, I would suggest grabbing two blocks to help you with the balance stuff. If not, I always use a block, so it's nice to have one handy, but that's up to you. Once you're ready to go, meet me on the mat and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start standing a little bit to work to open the backs of the legs a little bit for some of your balance postures later in class. So what I'll have you do is step your right foot forward and your left foot back. And then you're gonna take your hands to your hips and turn your hips towards the front edge of the mat. So they face forward and they're nice and even. On your exhale, you'll lean out until you feel like your back wants to round and you're just gonna come back up. So exhale, lean out and come back up. Lean out and back up. That's three. This is four. Exhale and up. Five more times. Down and up. Lower and lift. Down and up. Two more times. Down and up. Lower and lift, and then we'll switch sides. So step your left foot forward, step your right foot back, and same thing on your inhale, lean out, and exhale, come up. Inhale, and exhale. Lower, and lift. Down, and up. Lower, and lift, five more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, three more, down and up, down and up, last one, and then come on up. Step forward, feet hip width apart, hands together at your heart, so your namaskar A. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step back to plank and make your way through your vinyasa to down dog. And then just hold down dog. Reach through your arms and legs. Firm the upper arm. Let the thigh bones press back a little as the hands reach. Establish your breathing pattern in and out of the nose, across the back of the throat. And then look forward, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale halfway and exhale fold. Inhale all the way up, hands together at your heart. Inhale arms up, exhale fold. Inhale halfway and step back to plank, make your way through your vinyasa to down dog. Lift the toes a little bit, or be light in the toes rather. Press the whole hand down. Look for some width across the back of the shoulders as the hips extend away from the hands. And look forward, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale halfway, and exhale full. All the way up hands together at your heart. One more time. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step back to plank through your vinyasa to down dog. Now this time, from down dog, walk your hands back to your feet. Take your hands to your hips and stand up. Step your feet together. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Keep your hands on your hips. Just bend your left knee a little bit so you get a little stretch in the outer hip. Flex the right heel. Hold for three. And two. And then stand up. Set your right foot down. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Bend your right knee. Push the hips down and back. Chest tall.
and stand up. Feet about hip width apart, fold forward. Inhale halfway and walk your hands out to down dog. Take your feet just a little bit wider, shift forward to plank, drop your heels to the left, reach your right arm up, Vashistasana. Draw the navel in a little, reach through all four limbs. And then take your right hand down and switch sides. Drop your heels to the right. Reach your left arm up. And one more breath. Hand down. Pull your hips back. From here, step your left foot forward and walk your hands to the right, turning your left foot in. So your feet are nice and parallel. Let your, right, let your toes turn out a little bit. Reach your chest forward and just bend into your right knee. Send the chest forward. Be on the fingertips. You're light in the arms. And then we'll switch sides. So bend into the left knee, right leg straight, chest forward. Now from here, come back to the center. Bend into the right knee and pick the left toes up off the floor. Sit on your right heel. Take your hands to your heart. If you need to keep a hand down, that's fine. But try to balance in the pose. And then fingertips down and switch sides. So bend into the left knee, lift your right toes up, lift your chest, hands to your heart. Take your fingertips down, straighten the legs. Hook your big toes, inhale, reach your chest forward, and exhale, fold, prasarita D. Elbows bend, chest lengthens. Inhale halfway, hands to your hips, and stand up. Step your feet together, step to the front of your mat, and we'll come into tree pose. So take the right leg into tree, take the foot above or below the knee, lift your chest, and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Hug the right hip in a little bit, be strong with the left leg. Really reach the arms high. Maybe challenge your balance a little by looking up. Maybe close an eye or two. And then release your arms down. Step your right foot down. Take your left leg into tree pose. So foot above or below the knee. Firm the right hip. Stand tall in the torso. And then reach your arms up to the ceiling. See if you can feel like the arms lift the rib cage away from the pelvis. The left hip is firm, so the hips face forward, but the hip does draw in a little to open the knee wider. And then see if you can feel like you lift weight out of the right leg by reaching through the arms higher, maybe looking up a little bit. Couple more breaths. and release it down. Step your right foot out. Take your block with you if you practice with it. And then you'll turn your right leg out and your left foot in, triangle pose. So the right hand goes outside of the leg or on. The right hip firms as you press through the ball of the foot. Right side waist lengthens, and left arm reaches up as you turn your chest. Draw the left ribs in a little. Be very strong with your left leg. So use this as basically a prep pose for Ardha Chandrasana. And we want to really Work the work in the left leg. So reach the leg into the floor. Be extra strong with your left leg for today. And get longer in the right side waist in the opposite direction. So feel like the energy has to move in both directions to get a lot of length. Lift through your left arm so that you can be lighter in your right arm.
Take a couple more breaths here. Stay fired up in the left leg, long in the right side waist, active through the left arm. Now, if you have a block, pick it up with your right hand and stand up. Turn your right foot in and turn your left leg out. Hug the left hip in as you root through the ball of the foot. Turn the back toes in. That'll help you to firm the left hip easier. Triangle pose. And again, instead of working the heels towards each other, which I instruct a lot in this pose, reach through the right leg. So press into the floor with the right leg. And then as that's happening, get longer with the left side so you can turn your chest. As your chest turns, reach your right arm high so you can be lighter in the left one and not have to put so much weight into it. And emphasize the length of the left side waist, the work in the right arm, and that grounding of the right foot. Because in Ardachandrasana, the foot's not on the floor. So we really want the muscle memory of using the back leg a lot for when you're not standing on it. And hold for three, two, and one. Come back up to standing. Turn your right leg out and your left foot in. And come into triangle again. So this time it won't be as long. It'll be more of a transition. Reach your left arm up. Be very strong with your left leg. And then look down. Make sure your right foot points straight forward so the knee's not at risk. Bend your right knee. Use your block if you'd like. And step up to Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. Reach, in, reach through the left leg as if you still had the floor to push into, and turn the left big toe down slightly so the right hip can firm easier. As you're reaching through that left leg, as if you had the floor to push into, lengthen the right side waist and get really strong with the left arm. If your balance is strong, you look sideways or up. If not, just look down. And then if you're using the block, take it a setting lower if you're comfortable. Be really strong with the left arm and leg, and maybe... Hover the right hand. And you're here for three, two. Take the hand on the block if it was off. Slowly come back into triangle pose. And then stand up. Take the block with you if you used it. Turn your right foot in and your left leg out. Firm the left hip, left hand down, right arm up. So it's just a transition. Use the right leg, really strong with the right leg, long with the left side waist, right arm reaches high. Once you've got that going on, look down, the foot points straight forward, bend the knee, Ardha Chandrasana. Turn the right big toe down a little, reach back through the heel, like you're pressing into the floor, if you're trying to, or almost like you're trying to push the wall behind you down. As you have all that energy reaching through the right leg, send the left side waist, turn the chest, and reach your right arm high. Now, as you're here, if you feel like the balance is strong and you're able to get really strong through the right arm and leg, maybe take your block a setting lower, be light, and once you find the balance, hover your left hand. Breathe nice and deep. Keep the left hip firm. Stay fired up with the right limbs. Lightly, take your hand back onto the block. Take it back up to its normal setting, and then slowly back to triangle pose. From here, inhale up to standing. Step your feet together. Pause. Palms open, chest open. We'll take a half salute. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale halfway, hands to your hips and stand up. From here, lift your right knee up and hover the knee in the air. Then take your knee out to the side. If you have tighter hamstrings, hold on to the front of the knee with your hand. Keep your left hand on your hip. And if it's available to you, hook the big toe. Lift your chest up and start to take the leg out to the side. From the outer right hip down, maybe reach your left arm out to the side. For three, Two, slowly bend the knee, hand to the hip, 
hand to the hip and take your knee forward and then set it down. We'll come into the second side. So lift your left knee up into the air, keep the right hand on the hip and take your left knee out to the side. So again, it's okay to just stay here and hold the knee. The rest of you hook your big toe. Most of you will have to lean forward quite a bit to get the big toe as I do. Lift your chest up and slowly extend the leg out. And then maybe the right arm reaches out as well. Firm that left hip down, stand tall in the right leg. Lift the chest for three, two, right hand on the hip, bend your left knee, take it forward, hover it in the air, and set it down. Now from here, step to the front of your mat, hands together, so your namaskar A, inhale up, exhale fold. Inhale halfway through your vinyasa or straight to down dog. Now from here, look forward, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale halfway, hands to your hips and stand up. Make sure you're towards the front of your mat. Take both your blocks to their highest setting and about a torso's length from your feet. From here, lean out and take your hands to your blocks. Reach your chest forward. And if you can, be light on the blocks, on the knuckles or the fingertips. Put a little bend in your knees. And you'll notice it's easier to reach the chest forward, especially if you're in a stiffer frame. And then extend your left leg back. Look at the leg. Have the toes point down, hips face the floor. And reach your chest forward. Now stay here. Maybe straighten the leg and take your hands to your heart. So warrior three, keep the hips turning down as the chest reaches, left leg really, really strong. Maybe the arms reach back, some of you the arms can reach forward. And hold for three, two, fingertips down, left foot down. Feet hip width apart, bend the knees a little bit, Send the chest forward. Lift your right leg up and back. Look at the leg. Turn the toes down. Hips face the floor. Then send your chest forward. Maybe straighten the left leg. Keep the toes facing down. Chest forward. So you've set up the lower body. You found the length of the torso. And then get light in the hands and take your hands to prayer. Keep the hips turning down. Stay really, really strong with the right leg. Breathe in and out of the nose, and maybe reach your arms alongside your body or forward. Stay here for three, two, fingertips down, right foot down. Now from here, slight bend in the knees, just hold the elbows and hang. You can work to straighten the legs a little or a lot. Release your arms down to the floor and slowly come up to standing. So from here, stand tall at the front of your mat. Lift your right knee as high as you can so the chest is nice and tall. Reach your left arm forwards and your right arm back. Keep the right knee lifting. Start to look sideways, maybe back. If your balance feels off, you can look past the left hand. And use the strength of the right leg. Keep it lifting up as you turn your chest. Because the hand isn't touching anything, there should be no rounding in the torso. Front body nice and long. Take a few more breaths here. And look forward, hands together, feet together. Pause for a breath. And then lift your left knee as high as you can. Keep the chest nice and tall, reach your right arm forward and your left arm back. Start to look sideways or back, depending on your balance. Keep the strength in the left leg, so lift the knee really high. Chest tall as you rotate, strong in your right leg, and breathe into it.
Last few breaths. And release. From here, step your right foot wide and fold forward. Be on the fingertips, reach your chest forward, and then just walk your hands over to your right leg, take a couple breaths. And then over to your left leg. And now grab your block, come back to the center. Have your left hand under a block. So hands shoulder width apart, chest forward. And take your right hand to your hip. Don't move your left hand so it feels wide and just turn your chest to the right. And then turn your chest down to the floor. Take that block, place it underneath the center of your chest. Chest reaches forward, turn your shoulders to the right. Turn your chest down. Take the block underneath your right shoulder now. So the left arm kind of reaches across the body. Turn your chest to the right. And then release it down. So the block should be under your right shoulder. So just take your right hand on the block. Don't move it. Take your left hand to your hip. Turn your chest to the left. And notice if maybe this is a stiffer side, maybe not. Turn your chest down, center that right block, or the block right underneath your sternum, chest forward, turn to the left. Chest down, move the block to the left till it's under the left shoulder, and again, turn your chest to the left. Turn your shoulder down, walk your hands to the front of the mat, and step back to down dog. From here, look forward, bend your knees, step or jump through to seated, and extend your legs out in front of you. Lift your chest high, bend your right knee into your chest. Keep the chest tall. Grab the outside of your right foot with your left hand. Right hand on the floor, lift your chest up and work towards straightening the leg. Some of us can straighten the leg without rounding the back. For me, it's gonna stay bent a little bit. Lift your chest high, turn your shoulders, and reach your right arm back. So it's essentially a seated version of twisting triangle. But don't be too tempted to straighten the leg if it means you lose the length of the front of the torso. And then look forward, past the left shoulder, take the hand down. Extend the right leg out. Lift your chest high. Bend your left knee in towards your chest. So keep the torso upright. Grab the outside of the foot and just start to work towards straightening the leg. And again, for me, I have tighter hamstrings and shorter arms for my torso proportions. Lift your chest up and then left arm reaches back. Stay nice and tall in the front of the torso. Both hips are grounded, right leg strong, chest high. For three, two, and one. Look forward, release it. Cross your legs, shift forward into hands and knees, and just step up to the front of your mat. Take your hands to your hips and come all the way up to standing. So next pose is gonna be twisting Ardha Chandrasana. For today, we're gonna do it a little bit different with the bent leg, because I feel like it allows more people, or most people rather, to lengthen the torso better. And it's also just a challenge we're not used to in most flow classes or in our regular practice. So, hands to your hips, feet about hip width apart. Lean out halfway, hands underneath your shoulders on the blocks. Chest reaches forward, bend your knees a little bit. Send your chest way further forward now. And extend your left leg back. Now from here, don't straighten the right leg. Keep the knee bent. So think of it as somewhere between twisting Ardha Chandrasana and twisting Crescent Pose. And with the chest nice and long, reach through that left leg and reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Really try to press the left leg back like you're pushing a wall behind you down. 
Keep the right hip firm, set in the chest. And then, if you're feeling like your balance is good, maybe you hover the left hand. Take your left hand down if it's hovering, right hand on the block, left foot down. Keep the knees bent, chest forward. And from here, keep your left leg bent. You're going to want to straighten the leg. Please don't. Reach your right leg back a lot. Send the chest forward. Keep that left leg bent. Firm the hip. Chest forward. Left arm reaches up. Super strong with your right leg. And then get a little lighter on the right arm and play around with the idea of hovering. Hold for three. Two, hand on the block, left hand down, foot down. Now from here, move the blocks to the side and just step back to down dog. Reach through the arms and legs. Shift forward to plank and lower to your stomach. It's a lot of opening in the back of the legs and just a little bit of strengthening of the back body. So some cobra and shalabhasana. Start with cobra, lift your chest up, and then hover your hands off the floor. Press the feet down a lot. Draw your navel in. Send your chest really far forward as you lift the shoulders. And then arms back. Palms down so the chest is wide. Draw the navel in a little. Reach through your legs. And then hover your feet just barely off the floor. Reach them back as you send your chest forward. Think length, not lift. Strong with your arms so your shoulders move away from your ears. Stay up. Maybe go a little higher. One more breath. Now take your hands down. Press your feet down. Upward facing dog. And pull your hips back. Now step your right leg through. Single pigeon. So we'll just stretch the outer hips, both sides. To finish out class, you get a nice relaxing stretch to cool down. The right knee is a little wider than the hip. The hips face forward, so that left hip turns forward a little and reach your chest forward. You can be on the forearms, you can set your head down, whatever's comfortable for you. Take a look past your left shoulder. Notice if the left leg is sticking out to the side a lot. Try to have it reach straight back as you turn the left hip forward. And if you're still practicing your deeper breathing, start to steer away from that. Breathe smooth, slow your breath. Take your hands down and step back to down dog. Reach through the arms and legs. And then step your left leg into single pigeon. Knee a little wider than the hip. Right hip turns forward. Look past your right shoulder. Get that right leg to reach straight back. Let the torso lengthen forward a little bit and relax your breathing. Last few breaths here. And take your hands down, step back to down dog. Reach through the arms and legs. And then set your knees down. Sit back on your heels. So if you have time at home, 
I would highly suggest just setting the timer on your phone, taking a few minutes, laying down, resting, taking Shavasana. If not, no big deal. And please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us some feedback on what you want in the future. And thanks again for joining us on this 30 Days of Mindful Movement Challenge.